Spark OS is back after some time. The last update was with March security patch. Then they skipped Apple security patch as far as I know, and they are there back with the May security patch. In this channel, we talk about all of those custom homes, their new update, what are the new things included with that version. Of course, the change log. This is the major thing about this channel and this these custom room videos. I talk about these things, not talk about the performance and battery. Just for information, why so? Because this is not a device specific review. If you need battery battery related things performance related things bugs or etc you can check out a lot of youtube videos available you can check out them let's take a quick look at some of the changes which are included with this new version firstly if you're able to notice here the settings ui it's now changed this is the about phone ui and if you're able to notice it's almost same like rystroid these features i firstly found in rystroid you can see the settings styles options are available we have about phone style available you have the option for two styles and if you include the third one which is the default one it's also there as far as I know, these features are actually cherry picking and they're cherry picking features from every custom home. So most of the custom homes are just looking so same that you can't even differentiate them. But of course, this is my work to show you. So that's why I'm here. This is about the settings UI, which you can customize if you move on to setting styles, which I was talking about. We have same kind of op options. And one of my favorite is uh, the stock pixel and that oxygen OS is the stock pixel. I mean, if you're not satisfied with the default settings UI, you want to restore the stock UI. This is what we have. And if you move on to the fireworks options, once again, theming options and moving on to the setting styles, you'll be able to notice oxygen OS and color OS. So if you enable this, this is one of my favorite settings UI options. I love to use this and fortunately this is present here. Moving on to the other options, we have background transparency options included. So if you want to customize the quick settings background opacity, you can customize that transparency options. By the way, this might affect your device performance if you're using a low end device. But if you're using six gigabytes RAM, eight GB RAM devices, then it should not give you any issues. Also depends upon which device you are using. For example, right now I'm using Mi 11X. So in my case, it is not giving me any kind of issues. Also, as expected, there are approximately 70 plus header images. Of course, they are inspired from almost every custom home, brings you these kind of things. So that's completely fine. This is about the quick settings panel. If we move on to some customization options in settings, theming options, lock screen options, status bar options, there are many options present as expectedly. We can customize the lock screen clock size, lock, lock screen clock fonts actually. And as expectedly, there are many fonts options. You can even customize the clock, lock screen date fonts. So this is one of my favorite. I always use this option, this kind of fonts. Other options are basically same. Moving on to some status bar customization. This custom home brings you every status bar needed customization, including Voltivo Wi-Fi icons. We have battery related customizations. You have approximately five to six styles of battery. There are some other custom home, which brings you many customizations related to battery icon, but this custom home does not brings you that. Moving on to the gesture customization, same kind of options. By the way, one thing keep in mind with the latest main security patch, as far as I know, still some customizations are not present. What I found here is in the miscellaneous options, you have the option to customize the hardware button, which is basically related to power button. You can see the extras option, alerts, slider notifications and else, control playback and this is it. Ad blocker is one of the things which is always included in Spark OS and it's there. And we also got the system manager. As far as I know, it was not available previously and this is absolutely present in Rystroid. So I'm a little bit confused if I'm using Rystroid or Spark OS. Just joking, but yes, it's literally same. One another change which I found here is in the power menu customizations. But actually, this is one of my favorite. If I'm not satisfied with the default power menu, you can customize that very easily. We have the Android 11 style power menu like this one. We have the option for Android 12 style. We have the Android 8 style power menu, which is this one. This is quite interesting, by the way. We also have the Android 7 style. Grid style is absolutely amazing. If you enable this option, you can see the power menu is now at bottom. But of course, it all depends upon your opinion. If you like any one of these or not, if you want to customize this thing or not. And this is, of course, Android Android 7 style. So these are the power menu options, the major changes, everything I've already shown you. So these are the things available, including that some options related to quick settings panel, some options related to the quick settings panel and status bar and launcher, etc. Everything is already present. If you want to check it out, link is available in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.